I just started editing this video and realized I didn't shoot a good intro for it. So, welcome to Robert Trace Cars by Triple B. I'm Ronnie. The other guy in the video is Dusty. Let's get to it. All right, since we're since we're at setting up cars, we just got that factory stock done. We are about to tackle the uh, MB Custom. At least get it on the ground. We got it on the ground and uh, get our ride height set. We might go ahead and set it on the scales also, but we just got the body done on this car. I uh, just checked all my air pressure. I am at 14, 16, 10, 12 on air pressure. So got Dusty here today. He's gonna get in the car. We weigh roughly the same amount. Uh, we we within five pounds. It's yeah. close enough in my book. <laughs> Come on now, you're only like six inches shorter than me. <laughs> but he's gonna get in the car for me. And uh, with this car, they give you ride heights and you have to measure them with the driver's weight in the car. So not that I don't trust Dusty, but I'd rather have my own eyeballs on the measurements myself. So uh, he's gonna climb in the car and then we're gonna go over checking the ride heights and we'll go from there. Yeah, go ahead and go ahead first in there. It's on the ground now, so you should be having an easier time. Oh my God, we hit the ground. <laughs> it can't be that hard. Don't tell me that. I got to get in and out of it every about every Saturday. Once you get in there, though, you're all right. Huh? Well, let's get to checking ride heights. <laughs> we got our, our trusty tape measure and the old uh, trusty bush light too. Appreciate it, appreciate it. <clears throat> so this is a 2020 MB Custom. So like all ride heights on the front of Modifieds, I say all, all the ones I've ever messed with. You go from the ground to the center of your bolt hole. So your lower control arm, front mount, center of it to your ground on both sides. So let me get adjusted in here and we'll pull some measurements and we'll see where we're at. All right. We took our panel off so we can have some light in here. So from center of your lower control arm bolt to the ground that's where we're measuring i like to stay with eight inches on both sides bear with me here i only got so many hands i'm trying to get it to where you can see it maybe not the phone crashed all right here we go you can see it's kind of hard to see there so we're at eight and a quarter we are a quarter inch high on the right front so let's go to this other side left front all right, we are right at eight and a quarter. So eight and a quarter on both sides, that means we're a quarter inch high on both fronts. So we're gonna take a few rounds out. All right, so we came to our left front after a couple wrenches and a breaker bar, I ripped my fingernail off. <laughs> so hopefully that done it. So we'll get down here and we're gonna recheck our ride heights. I'm not gonna video it this time because that sucker right there hurts. But eight inches, eight inches is the goal. All right, so that one round out on the left front did it. We are exactly eight inches from the ground to the center of your lower control arm boat, bolt on both sides of the bolt right there. On both sides. All right, we're gonna move to the back. Get underneath the back of the car and I'll show y'all where you measure underneath the rear. All right, we get underneath the back here. This one's a lot more simple. Just gotta get under here first. All right, I'm gonna get underneath this right rear corner first. So on the right rear corner, you wanna butt your tape measure to the bottom of your axle tube and measure distance from the bottom of the axle tube 
to the top of the over route. Let me see where we're at. We are, I don't know if you can really see it. It's three and a quarter at my house and that's dead on. That's exactly where we're supposed to be at three and a quarter. It's hard to see on this phone. I can't line it up just right, but right rear, bottom of the axle tube, top of the under rail, three and a quarter. All right, we're gonna go over here to the left rear now. I'm gonna adjust the tape measure. I'll adjust it again. All right, same spot. Bottom of your axle tube. Top of your under rail, because this is gonna be a lot, lot lower. So you want it to be roughly six and a half, six and a quarter to six and a half. It's hard to see it. There's not much light underneath here, but can we get it to focus? I don't know, but we are dead on six and a quarter. No, oh, we can't focus. I can't see it. Let's see. Is that better? I don't know. You can't really see that. Six and a quarter. Everything's black under here. So our rear is dead on. So. That's it for the 2020 MB Custom Modified. Set your air pressure, 14, 16, 10, 12. Check your ride heights, six and a quarter to six and a half. We're at six and a quarter, three and a quarter on the right rear. I like to run eight across the front on any Chevelle front end car that I have. That's where we're at. So we're gonna set it on the scales. We're gonna move the pads over just to see where we're at but I don't see why we're gonna move anything. We'll probably just hit the track running just like it is. Yeah, it's starting to pound now. That sucker hurt, ripped it and everything. Got it sitting on the scales, all four corners. We got our ride height set. So let's see what she comes out to be. Can you see it? Ooh, this thing's heavy. <clears throat> well, no, it's not. I forget you're sitting in it. I'm not. Uh, I don't know, we gotta read up on the rule book again. If it's uh, it's 2,400 pounds, we might need to add a little, or no, if it's 2,400, we're good, we're 40 pounds over, but if it's 2,450, we're about, I don't know, it's, it's 24, 47, 48, so it's fluctuating, but I don't know, it's got a little less than 15, it's got 15 gallons in it, so pick up a little dirt, we'll be all right, but Got 111, 112 pounds of left wheel. Our left side percentage is 55.7. Our rear is 56.2. So um, I think that's pretty dang good. Well, that's it as far as scaling goes. Uh, took one round out the left front. Uh, one thing I did do a couple days ago when I was working on this thing, going over it all, I took both rears off. I uh, took the coilover kit on the right rear off, the shock in, spring, coilover kit, normal setup, put it on a smasher, um, put it at 400 pounds at ride height. I do not remember the number off the top of my head, the uh, the measurement. I want to say 20 and a quarter. I don't, know, don't quote me on that. And then the left rear, we uh, took the eliminator off, put it on the smasher, and... I found my center to center at full droop. Cannot remember that measurement either. There's a bunch of measurements going on around here, but you find that measurement and put it at 200 pounds at full droop. 
So out of 16 inch spring, there's that full droop, preload it down to 14 inches and you got it if you're running a hundred pound spring. Pretty easy. So I don't know, that's a 2020 MB Custom uh, short setup clip. Uh, you saw rod heights, what, what tire pressure I run, how to check the rod heights, um, put it on the scales, you saw the number, so you know, we're not gonna do nothing different. So we're gonna take it off the scales, put it back on the rack, and the rack should be here tomorrow. And if I can get Dusty conned in to coming back over sometime this weekend, we'll get the wrap on it, you can see what it looks like. But appreciate for watching. Appreciate y'all watching. Like, comment, subscribe, and uh, maybe we can get some more views. That's all, folks. <laughs>